Hello everybody. Well, we continue to talk about the, today about the fact that um, the key to have, have a happiness in life is for you to live for something greater than yourself. It's for you to live for something greater than yourself. Um, I would like to challenge you to actually, you know, live a life of challenges. To th throw yourself a challenge on a regular basis. Challenge yourself with new problems, with new situations with new circumstances with new environment with new people uh, with new tasks with new assignments and uh, that is the way life is made if you are just going to do what you are comfortable with and what is easy for you to do you don't grow uh, if for sports people for sports men when they go uh, to the gym when they exercise they have to give themselves more and more weight and that's what develops their their their, their, their muscles if they just stay on one level of what they had always been able to do, they will never be able to grow. They will never be able to develop. You know, that's how life is made. You know, the, 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 the key to achievements and greatness in life is for you to take on something that is bigger than you, or to take on a challenge bigger than you. You know, if you throw yourself a bigger challenge, you discover big, bigness in you. you, if, you if you get a greater problem, you have greater challenges, and you... And then you discover that you are up to the task. Your greatness comes out according to the size of your problem and of your of your challenge. So you know, just like you know, with life, when we give birth to a little baby, a kid, a, and that kid uh, just lies down there, and you know, the the parents have to keep on caring for him, take him up, and you know, take care of him. Up. But after some time, that baby begins to sit down by himself. And that's a big, a major progress. Then after sitting down, the baby begins to crawl. And after crawling, the baby begins to stand up. And after standing up, you find out the baby begins to walk. But after walking, the baby begins to run. And that's what brings a lot of happiness to the parents. The same with us. If we make attempts uh, at greater challenges, if we take upon ourselves greater responsibility, things that are greater than us initially, we become bigger and it makes the heart of our Father in heaven to, to rejoice because of us. But if we, are stag if we become stagnant and, uh, and we actually regress when we only take on things that we are up to, that are small, smaller than we could, that not just small for, for our capabilities. So to discover ourselves and to become great in life, we need greater challenges. God bless. Yes, hello, how are you today everybody? Well, we continue this, uh, the, the, the talk and the word for this week, which is life, um, if you, you know, you, you have to take on something greater than you, take on a challenge greater than you. If we really want to become somebody of significance in this world, if we want to be a person that will leave the footprint of our lives in the, in the sand of history, we must be willing to pay a great price for it. We must be willing to, um, to take up challenges that other people are not willing to take on, on themselves. We must be willing to do something greater than we would naturally want to do. You see, there is a principle in life that uh, life will always demand life and success and, and greatness. Life, success and greatness will always demand from you more than you are willing to give. <laughs> life will always demand that you walk more than you are willing to work. Life will always demand from you that you struggle more than you are willing to struggle. More, uh, life will always demand that you are, you are, uh, for you to work more than you are uh, willing to work, for you to study more than you are willing to study, and for you to do some of the things that you don't really want to do in the natural. But if you do them, uh, life will smile at you. Same with success, the same with greatness. But uh, you see, even though life and success and greatness will demand from you more than you are willing to give, but they will not demand from you more than you are capable of giving. You are capable of doing more than you are comfortable doing. You know, we all want to do what we are comfortable doing, but life wants us to do what, all what we are able to do. Life wants you to give your best, and only when you give your best, you could be you know, you could be all that you want to be. So life would demand from us to uh, sacrifice more. Life would demand 
for, for, for us to work more. But those things, life and success and greatness are demanded from us, they are not things that are impossible for us. Life, greatness and success will never demand from you what you are not able to do. We have, you, maybe you might be thinking you are not able to do it, but you can actually do it because you have the capacity inbuilt in you to cope with any challenge that will come your way. God bless. Hello. Well, we're continuing to talk today about, um, um, you know, what we need to do to really be significant in life. If you really want to come to any preeminence or for significance in life, you need to take on something on a challenge bigger than yourself. We need to dare to do something that uh, we are not comfortable with. Some things that we we know that will cost us something. If we really want to become great in this life, we must be willing to sacrifice, to uh, dare to do things that ordinarily we were not willing to do. Um, you know, but that is just the opposite of what uh, we want. You know, the flesh wants. You know, that normally there is nobody that is naturally having the inclination to, to dare to walk more than necessary or to uh, dare to, you know, to take up challenges that are uh, greater than himself. Uh, normally, you know, the feeling and the desire for security, um, you know, is universal. And it, it takes us away from daring because everybody has the desire to be secure. Everybody has the desire to live in comfort. But in the real science, the way the world is created, we are not made for comfort. We are not made for security. Um, those things will only take us away from our destinies. They will take us from you know, achieving the goals that God is put before us. Because um, you know, secure, a sense of security will, will just discourage you from daring because you are caring more about yourself and you are thinking about yourself. And um, a sense of... Uh, uh, comfort as well. If you want to just go for comfort, you will never make history. And another thing with comfort and security is you've got to, somebody's got to, got to create them. And without creating, without daring, and without doing more than, without taking up challenging on, on yourself, you will not create the comfort that you need tomorrow. You will not create the comfort and you will not create the security. So for you to live a secure life and a comfortable life, you still need to, at a point in your life, uh, begin to uh, to DA and to, to take up something that will really need you to sacrifice there some things. So as you take up the challenges that are, that are more than you, then you can build a secure life and a comfortable life. But even after doing that, you still need to keep on daring because once you succumb to comfort and security, uh, your progress in life stops. Well, God bless. Hello everybody, well, we are happy to continue today with you and uh, we are continuing this, um, this week's program which uh, is um, now you've got to take on something greater than you, than you and that you've got to do something bigger and greater than you are willing to for you to really be successful. Uh, success, I mean life always demands more from us than we are willing to give uh, but not more than we can give. So if you are willing to, if you are going to do what, uh, going to take on, a, uh, take on a challenge greater than you, bigger than you, there is a greater possibility that you will make it in life rather than if you are trying to avoid those challenges and you are trying to, uh, to deceive and cheat life. Many people try to cheat life and cheating by, uh, by, you know, by trying to avoid pain and by trying to avoid uh, you know, cha the challenges of life and trying to go through life without paying the price for it. Uh, you know, there, uh, there, is a, there, there is a secret to success, but also there are, um, there are reasons for failure. People, when, people, when you see people who are failures in life, or who can't make it, who, who cannot become great or anything you know, of significance, it is you can you can trace that to their behaviors. You can trace that to their choices. And uh, people who make the choice of trying to avoid pain or avoid difficulties, avoid challenges, 
uh, people who try to go through life without paying the price for greatness or the price that success demands, they regret it because these people um, eventually uh, get punished by life. You cannot deceive life. You cannot deceive the laws of life. God has placed those laws in place and there is no way you, could have, you can have, avoid those laws. So if, if one of the laws that says that, you know, for you to really live a successful life, you've got to take, you've got to dare to take on greater challenges and greater problems and resolve problems and you don't want to resolve problems, you will come to nowhere eventually. So don't try to go through life uh, by, you know, by, by avoiding to pay the price that life demands. Don't try to go through life trying to, you know, run away from the, from the prices and from the, from, the, from the pain that life demands you to pay. You must pay your own deal for your life to pay you back with greatness, with success, and with uh, comfort and happiness. God bless. Hello everybody. Well, um, we continue the work that we've started this week and uh, that is in the, in the, in the, in the, the, the fact that uh, for you to really be a person of significance uh, in this world, you must always take on challenges that are greater than you. You must always challenge yourself to do new things and that's what I want to talk more about today, that you must be a person that is known not for what, it is or what you've already done. You must be known for what you are capable of doing. And the only way for you to know what you are capable of doing is for you to keep on uh, throwing new challenges out for yourself. For you to keep on doing new and newer, more new and uh, new challenges. To bring up, uh, to keep on throwing more challenges to yourself. If you have already done something, that has been done. That is past. And, uh, you know, people already know that you can, you could do that. So there's nothing new. You must, if you have, if you stop at that, it means there's nothing for you to live for anymore. But when you have done what you could do, and the next thing to do is to, <laughs> is to throw yourself a new challenge. The next thing to do after doing that again is to look for a new challenge that you've never done before. As soon as you are, as you continue to look for new heights, as you continue to look for new challenges, as you continue to do what you've never done before, you are discovering yourself. You are discovering your capacity. You are discovering your abilities. You are discovering the gifts and talents that God has put and invested in you. So by just being faithful to look for new challenges, new heights, new no problems to solve, you are actually becoming greater. You are climbing higher. You are, you know, becoming, you know, much more better than you used to be. So don't be the kind of person that is famous only for what he has done. Be the kind of person that is famous for what new things he keeps on doing, for what he can do, or for what is put in him. As you discover yourself and as you uh, throw more challenges to yourself, you will discover that you are actually capable of doing more than you've done. Hello everybody, we are starting another week today and uh, this week we want to talk about the fact that uh, for you to really become great in life, you've got to take on a challenge bigger than you. Uh, most people don't want to take on something bigger than them, they just want to do what they are comfortable doing, what they are um, comfortable with. Uh, but uh, doing what you are comfortable with is the key, actually is the is the panacea of failure, you know, is the thing that would lead you to failure. Uh, people who do what they are comfortable with, people, things that come to them naturally, are people that just remain either failures, poor, or average. You can never get beyond, uh, beyond average. Actually, if you get to be average, you are just lucky. You know, it doesn't work out that way. The people who become average are people who strive for the best, but they didn't quite get to be the best, but so they settled for something, uh, something in the in the middle. But for you to always do what you are comfortable with, um, or something that does not give room for you to be to stretch yourself, you will never really become much in life. All the, for you, the, the key to greatness and the key to great achievements in life 
is for you to go beyond yourself. It's for you to stretch yourself. So it's in stretching yourself, continue, not just one time, not just once, but when you keep on stretching yourself time and time again, when you keep on going through things that you think you'll never be able to go through, that is when you begin to discover gold, when you dig deeper into yourself. You'll be discovering gold in yourself. You'll be discovering you know, jewels. There is some hidden capacities, some hidden abilities, some hidden blessings that you couldn't even have thought about. But those blessings come only when you stretch yourself, when you put pressure on yourself, when you overcome yourself. So never take on a challenge that is your size. Never take on a problem that is easy for you to solve. No. That doesn't help you, doesn't make you a better person. What makes you a better person are the things that may that may be difficult for you in the first in the first place. As you overcome them, you set a new record for history. God bless. Hello everybody. We keep on talking today and today is the final day that we are talking about the fact that if you really want to live and enjoy life, if you really want to know the sweetness and the taste of life. That you need to live definitely for something greater than yourself. You need to uh, take on a challenge greater than yourself. You need to normal. Uh, uh, you need to constantly uh, attempt to do things that uh, other people will not do. You need to attempt to do things that you even dare not do a few days ago or some time back. You you need to keep on putting pressure on yourself and throw new challenge out there for yourself uh, to keep on. Uh, in, in discovering who you are and to keep on improving yourself. Uh, that is the only way that you could become a person of significance in life. And that's the only way you could maximize yourself, maximize yourself and, uh, and, and uh, turn yourself to somebody that is always in need. I mean, that people are always in need of. Someone that is always relevant. So I like the word of Oscar Wilde, the famous writer. In, you know, in regards to this, he says that nothing succeeds like excess. <laughs> nothing succeeds like excess. And what that is, what he's trying to say there is that if you really want to be successful, you need to always do extra work. You need to always do more than is required of you. You know, if you are required to work for eight hours in your work, make sure you do more. Make sure you do ten. If you are required to study for two hours, make sure you do for six or for four. If you are required to, um, to do something little, do something much. You know, always do more than is required of you. When you, you know, throw yourself a greater challenge, more challenges, when you go the extra mile, those little extra miles of activities, of faithfulness, of service that you give, and throw yourself new challenges and you know, be good at another, another thing and be better in another one. Those are the things that decide your success in life. So, you want to become anybody in life? Always throw out a challenge for yourself. And then you'll be known for what you are created to do. God bless you.